When growing with large containers using the crack key model of non-circulating hydroponics and also the uh, fill and forget method where I put enough water and nutrients in for the entire season, I often get asked about temperatures because this is unlike other methods of hydroponics that are more dependent upon temperatures of the water, the nutrients. So today I would like to show you just a couple things about temperatures. What I have here is just a simple infrared thermometer. It's digital. And I picked it up from a company called Radio Shack with that uh, distributed uh, electronics and things across the United States. It has a button on the side that I push to get the temperatures. For example, on today, if I were to point it just at the ground, you can see that even the lawn in front of me is 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Of course, some surfaces are warmer than others. The black trash can that I use, the black totes that I use out in the hot sun, certainly get a little bit warmer than what the lawn does. If I were to take a reading off the surface, you can see that it's 120 degrees, which for a lot of hydroponics would pose a lot of problems. So what about the temperatures inside one of these large containers? Well, inside the depths of this 44 gallon brute trash can, you can see that the interior temperature of the nutrient is around 98 degrees Fahrenheit. And this is at the latter part of the day. Of course, it was much warmer earlier in the day. However, it does not seem to phase the plant. In fact, as my, you can tell from this plant that it is actually thriving in these conditions. And not just the tomato plant. Also the summer squash that you see before you. And the white ghost pepper plant. Even inside this hot greenhouse, where the temperatures are ranging another 5 to 10 degrees warmer, you could tell that these plants are doing well and are seemingly unaffected by the higher temperatures. Even strawberry plants have been doing quite well. The surface of the 27 gallon totes is a little bit lower than on top of the trash cans. Even so, I'm getting readings of over 111 degrees Fahrenheit off the surface of that lid. Inside the 32 gallon container that has the pepper plant, it's at a toasty 92 degrees Fahrenheit. You could tell that the plant's roots are white and seemingly unaffected by the heat. The lower half to two inches of the roots is taking up water. As the plant gets warmer, it transpires water throughout its leaves and that's how it cools itself. With the vast supply of water in these containers, I believe that uh, that is one of the primary reasons that these plants seem to be unaffected. Plus, most of the gas exchange on a cracky non-circulating hydroponic root system is on the upper portion of the roots. The lower part of the roots are the only things that touch the water, and even on a hot day, there's enough water in that surface layer of water that uh, gas exchange happens along that surface boundary level and the plants continue to be healthy and grow throughout their lifetime even in the middle of summer. The large cherry tomato plant that you saw previously climbing up the trellis is in a 44 gallon brute trash can. The nutrient level has dropped about a foot since putting it into the uh, brute trash can and Based on the 31 and a half inch height of the trash can, this plant will continue to pull up that nutrient water for another few weeks, allowing me to harvest a multitude of cherry tomatoes.